Hi there, I'm Colin Lamb, and I hope you're doing very well wherever it is that you may happen to be. I'm doing fantastic, and in today's video, we're going to be drinking this beer and slowly creeping towards the inevitable jaws of death. But we're also going to be looking at uh, comments from the previous Coheed and Cambria reaction video I did, and we're going to be picking a new song to react to in this video, which you may already know which song I'm doing because I may have put it in the title. I might not put it in the title. I might I might do something fucking a little risky and dangerous and give no context in the thumbnail um, because I really don't give a shit anymore. The reason why I do these videos is because people leave comments that turns me on to new stuff. I'm always looking for new music. I'm always looking for new layers to the music I love and I love talking to people about music on the internet. I haven't had a lot of time lately just settling into my new life in Australia, but I tell you what, I have some fucking time tonight, so am I spending it with friends? I have no fucking friends here in Australia. Am I spending it with my family? I see them all the time. One of them, the little guy sleeping, my wife's out there watching some crap on TV, reality television. It's a show called Married at First Sight where you marry somebody and it all goes horribly wrong because instead of trying to pair people with personalities and mutual interests and, and temperaments, they, they pair a half-decent person with a raging sociopath. They throw, shake them up in a fucking burlap bag and set them loose in uh, in Australia. It's, it's great entertainment, but tonight that's not what I'm doing. I'm going to make this video. So let's open up these comments from the previous video because they were great. And like I say... I'm going to use them to pick which video I look at next. So, Mike Johnson, thank you very much for your comment. Mike Johnson says, Some of my favorite songs that follow a more traditional scheme are No World for Tomorrow, It Walks Among Us, Shoulders, Rise, Bracket, Cut the Cord, and, and, and Bracket. Um, and you know what? I don't think I need to look much further than those suggestions because that's exactly what I was kind of saying in the previous video that I'm looking for something maybe that's a little... More traditionally structured to break me into this band because I tell you what, where I'm at right now with this band is that I know there's some great music in there. I did listen to a full album, check out the other reactions I did on the channel, but I know there's a great fucking band in there. I just need to find that little, that little grip. I I, did, I covered Fish on my channel, which was another band that I was absolutely convinced there's something there. There, you know, how many of these, you know, 10 million people can't be wrong or whatever the fucking expression is. And I found my foothold into that band, and now I love them, and they're they're a great part of my listening. And I, I love discovering new music and getting into stuff that I've overlooked. I'm, I've also recently started getting into Rush. I've been putting them on when I've been driving around. And I'm loving that. I gotta get on that on the channel. But anyways, I was looking for something a little more accessible than a couple of the tracks that I went to because I felt like I was just diving into this fucking massive catalog without a goddamn clue what's going on, just floating around my my little man boobies just kind of bobbing beside me on the surface of unturbulent and strange waters. Anyways, thank you very much, Mike Johnson, for that comment. Shelly Roberts says, Agree, this song is jumping into to the deep end for a non-fan, which is what I just said, and definitely benefits from listening to the whole album. You're probably right. Uh, and the one before it, same melody from Old Flames on Faxis. I, I don't know what's going on. I know that the guy has, uh, the main guy has graphic novels, and there's a big story that I'm unaware of. And at this point, I'm not too sure if, if I'm going to get in that far, but I'm tantalized. I'm, I'm titillated. I'm not tantalized. I'm titillated. But um, Shelby says, not Shelly, Shelby says, my personal recommendations from each album would be as follows, going to abbreviate, and if some of these pop up like two times, then I'll probably have to check them out anyways. Um, but she gives me a, a great list of stuff, and you know what? I always know that, that I'm on the right track. When I get into these bands and the fans are helpful and informative and excited to leave these comments. So I really do appreciate the, the comment there. Thank you very much, Shelby. Um, I will check out those tracks as time allows. Um, Levi Lee 207 says, Oh, dude, Coheed is just incredible. Top three band for me next to Ween and, and Dance Gavin Dance. I don't know what that is at all. Dance, Gavin, dance. I gotta write that down. I don't have a pen. I'm not gonna write it down. I'll try to remember it. Probably forget it, but I should remember it. Dance, Gavin, dance. Uh, Levi Lee, if you're watching this next video, please give me some recommendations there. Um, but Claudio's, the front man, brings a lot of pop and electronic influences, which I did definitely hear. Steve Lee, guitarist, brings the Zeppelin Floyd sensibilities. The rhythm section has always been extraordinary, but their lineup on that in that regard is a bit. Uh, more fluid. All but one of their albums resolve or revolve around the... Okay, I know that. I know about the graphic novel. 
Um, highly recommend starting from their first album. I should do. I'm just trying to be lazy, man. I'm just trying to find the... You know what I'm doing? I'm fucking... I'm, uh, I, I, I bought... I, I bought a tub of ice cream and I'm just picking out all the little chocolate bits and I'm leaving I'm leaving that that underrated vanilla alone for now but I'm, I'm jumping in there um, and um, Levi gave me a bunch of uh, in, in a bunch of tracks that I really should be checking out I'm gonna quickly note these down but I still think I'm gonna go up to the top and look for something that's just a little more accessible and I'm hoping that that Mike Johnson's um, references will help me out so newt uh 9269 says coheed is my favorite band of all time they're very much an album band in my opinion if you want to hear some more of their poppy stuff i'd recommend blood red summer their first album second stage um turbine blake is kind of a land okay so he's giving me album recommendations um and i just need a couple of tracks here um s alien T Marlin 9751 says, I sub just because you said you were going to do more coheed, and here we are, my friend. Here we are, just paddling along. Uh, Nick Rispoli 2532 says, Yes, they have a cult following. I've been a diehard fan for 20 years. I can't explain, but there's a hopeful desperation, and that is a great description of the sound from what I've heard so far. I'd love to see more Kohi reactions coming from you. Can fucking do. Here we are. From anyone loved seeing your last video of them, and click this right after to get a little bit more, but please keep these coming. Can do. 100% subscribing, my man. All right. And another person who subscribed, which you can do as well if you think this journey might be worth your while, if you have recommendations for me, things to add as I move along, or you just like seeing a bald guy yammer along drinking beer and listening to music please subscribe um this guy this was the comment that i was thinking about three weeks ago when i meant to make this video uh the dark sentencer i'm a simple man i see a code reaction i subscribe and these are the suggested songs the dark sentencer 10 speed welcome home blood red summer blood red summer has come up twice that might be where we need to go here uh 005 white boy says also non-recommendations related info the entire discography um yes more about the comics this band is an onion and i'm i'm assuming this is the seinfeld george costanza thing the more it lays you peel the more it stinks only instead of stinks means good now shadowfire 08 says welcome to the fence my man which seems to be what the fandom fans call the fandom if i'm not mistaken seen them eight times uh, i'm gonna go ahead and leave a list and he's left the list. I don't see the, the red, whatever the hell it is on there. But I'm going to take note of that. Thank you very much for these comments. I really do appreciate them. Major Balra says, Claudio is a national treasure, most overlooked and underrated band of the last 20 years. One thing I love about this band is that they experiment with so many sounds and styles. And that, that is another reason why I come back. So my number one sort of band, a reference point of taste that I would put would be the Beatles. Um, and the B option to that is Ween. And if you want to know anything about my musical taste and sensibilities, I think Ween is, is, is touching that Beatles level of genre hopping and song, just pure brilliant songwriting. So that's where my sensibilities lie. Um, one of the things I love about this band, yep. Um, personally, I love their older albums, but the production values aren't quite on par with their newer stuff. If you're looking for normal, normal structured song stuff, I'd recommend Grave Makers and Gunslingers or Gravity's Union. So definitely lots of albums that I need to check out. But the one recommendation that I did get coming up again and again, uh, tw two times actually, I'm, I'm using some hyperbole there, but let me just find it here. Blood Red Summer. Let's check out Blood Red Summer. Let's do that. Let's just do that. This is Coheed and Cambria Blood Red Summer on the Tone 98 Point Shining Dome, beacon of hope and light throughout the universe. Upbeat emo music. That's what the caption says. That's what Alright, so that was my reaction to Blood Red Summer by Coheed and Cambria, which we came to from the very helpful comments from people just like you. Now, as I was kind of saying during the song, one thing that stood out to me right from the get-go is the voice. Um, and I want to preface this by saying, look, I can come around to a voice, which I, I've just been listening to Rush lately. Um, there's a Canadian band called Billy Talent um, that I think is a fucking great rock band. And their vocalist is somebody that can put people off the music. But if, if now, as I've listened to that band and bands like Rush 
and other bands with kind of, you know, traditionally people would say maybe not the best singers and not, I'm not saying this guy's not a good singer, but just voices that aren't, that don't have that, they're, they're unique, we'll call them, like old fucking Neil Young, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Canadian, right, so, you know. <laughs> Knocking at my cellar door. Right, so I, 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 I can, I can get around a weird voice, um, but as I've listened to those bands over the time, over, over years and years, I can't imagine them with any other vocalist, especially when you have that vocalist being a major, major contributor to the band's creativity, and it wouldn't fucking exist without them. So somebody mentioned the production values. I'm assuming that was one of the earlier tracks because the, the thing said about 12 years ago or something. Definitely the production was lacking there. I heard some really interesting things going on with the guitar, textural things, and also little, little plodding, plucky little counter melodies going along with the rhythm that were great that I just quite couldn't hear. The second thing that I noted there was that that drumming sounds like it was being done by somebody who's not a member of the band or maybe a member of the band who's not really a drummer. And those are just my sneaking suspicions because it really wasn't, you know, great drumming. It wasn't horrible drumming. It's better drumming that I could do, but it wasn't the drumming of someone who is a dedicated drummer and who's, who's you know, been in a project for a long time and has played those songs 300 times. They seem to just serve the song, which is fine enough. But let me know in the comments if, if I'm way off the fucking mark there. Um, was that the song that's going to bring me full on into Coheed and Cambria? I wouldn't say so, but it, it is a song that's going to keep me moving along here. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm into it. You know what? At the end of the day, what's the very worst thing that can come of all this? Oh no, I've listened to some fucking music that I've never heard before. Um, yeah, I, I enjoyed that and I'm enjoying this process. Um, uh, um, please do, as I'm sure you will, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video, please feel free to like the video and subscribe it. Um, in any event, you take very good care of yourself and I'll see you hopefully in a future video. Bye-bye.